What is up guys? Welcome back to another Freaktography Urbex adventure. Check this out guys behind me. I am exploring a beautiful old farmhouse, lots of history. I'm actually meeting a guy here who knows a lot of history of the house. He's gonna take me on a guided tour and fill me in on what this house is all about. Beautiful looking house guys. Let's take one more look. I can't wait to get inside. Let's not waste any more time. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys inside. This video is sponsored in part by Loom Cube. Loom Cube lives to help us create better content with everything from small, high powered lights for photography, videos, or drones to products for smartphones, action cameras, and more. Hit the link in the video description below to shop Loom Cube's wide assortment of products built by content creators for content creators. This now abandoned estate and farm dates back to the late 19th century. The son of the original owner describes this as once being a vibrant and productive farm. Come on inside and join me as we explore this beautiful abandoned house by day and by night. Okay guys, here we go, we're inside. Just had a tour with a local gentleman who took me uh, for a walk through the house. So this is gonna be a great video with lots of history, lots of historic before and after, now and then type of photos. So guys, let's uh, spin the camera around and let's go take a walk. Where we are right now guys is we are in the kitchen of the house and looking down here and this is the original flooring right here. Original tile floor. These, uh, these boards here are not original. And here you've got uh, an old door lock mechanism, which uh, somebody has obviously stolen the doorknobs. Almost all the doorknobs in this house are gone, guys. Here there used to be a wood stove. Obviously somebody's taken that, which is no longer here. And we cross through here. And a very, very interesting bit of information, guys, about this room that we're going into is that the original owner, well, not the original owner, but the one of the old original owners of this home was actually born inside this room right here. So when it was originally a farmhouse many, many, many years ago, the man and woman who owned this house uh, the woman gave birth to her son in this house, who then inherited the home uh, and then passed it on to his children. And so an, an original descendant of this home was born right here in this room, which obviously was not a bathroom at the time. And there used to be a door right here to enter into this room. You can see that there obviously at one point in time, there would have been carpeting in here, judging by this. So these are the original floorboards of the house. You can have a look at the staircase here. It's a beautiful staircase. These are all hand cut. These were not done by a template and cut by machine one by one. These were actually done by hand and every one of them is a little bit different than the next because they were all cut by hand. Here's your newel post, still intact, still in place. That's a gorgeous staircase, guys. Beautiful staircase. Moving on into your main living room. Nice little sitting area there to sit and read a book. You just imagine what this room would have looked like when it was furnished 100 years ago. Here is your main entrance. So going out this door to the left, there used to be a covered, uh, a covered porch outside. So this would have been your main entrance into the house. Original door lock mechanism there as well. And then another entrance here that goes off to the other side of the house. 
Power has been cut, so I can't turn the lights on. So there's a nice view there, guys, of this room here. There was a, a, a bird, a cardinal, was out here earlier and he kept pecking at the window. I thought maybe I heard him pecking at the window and I could show him to you, but he's gone. All right, guys, let's head upstairs. Light fixtures have been stolen. Um, gentleman who I was with earlier was very upset to see that somebody had come in and cut off the, all the original light fixtures from the house are almost all gone, unfortunately. Look at this detail. And then we head up here into a, what he believes was at one point the master bedroom. Obviously here, this was then moved into a little girl's room. Painted pink, I'm assuming a girl's room. Got quite a bit of water damage here. Another view of the staircase here. And head on into this room. Just another bedroom. What is up guys? I think there's only a couple mirrors in here, so there's a what is up guys for you. Okay guys, so heading on over here and we can now go up and see the tower, which is the most interesting feature of this house. Would have been a fun place to play if you were a little kid. And then it's very tight, so we're gonna make a little tight little walk up these stairs here, up to the top of the tower, guys. Very tight. And as you can see, there's some uh, evidence of a bird nest. Birds living up here. There's the windows. You get a nice look outside from here. I have a question, guys. Does anybody know why there would be a tower in these houses? So you saw the house from the outside, the old farmhouse with the tower. What is the purpose of this tower? Does anybody know? This house actually used to have two towers. Uh, one of them was torn down. It was at the back of the house facing the other way. Does anybody know the purpose of these towers in an old farmhouse such as this one? Drop me a comment down below, guys, if you have the answer, because I don't know. Anyways, really tight quarters. Three small, narrow windows to look each way. And that's it. Then it goes up there. I'm guessing there may have been a staircase at some point to get up into there. But uh, you can't really get up in there because it's so tight. So I don't know what the purpose is of that up there. Anyways, guys, I'm curious if anybody knows the reasoning for this part of the house. Oh, it's tight, guys. It's tight. Got a broken mirror. What is up, guys? You guys wanna go check out the barn? We'll go outside, I'll meet you guys in the barn. Okay guys, we're outside of the house and I got a little surprise for you because uh, here's something we've never had done before. An upside down from the ground, what is up guys? What do you think of that? The what is up guys haters are gonna hate this. Now, I will have some historic photos to share with you guys, but I do know that at one point, so you had the first tower at the front of the house and then there was a second tower back here and then a little bit of a, of a bridge that went to the other side of the house. So that's pretty interesting. Go back and have a look at the barn. See if there's anything neat in the barns. Sometimes there is, sometimes they're not. So here we go, guys. Moving on into the barn. 
get a look at this one here. This is your newer barn. But right here, guys, is the old original barn. Wow, so now we're in the lower level here where all the livestock would have hung out. Horses, cows, I don't know. Very broken up floor here. Beautiful piece of property though, guys. So what I did learn, I can tell you this now, um, the property is owned by a developer, a land developer who is, a, no surprise guys, gonna demolish the house so they can build a whole new subdivision. So this house, I was very surprised to learn, this house does not have heritage designation, guys. And it's going to be demolished. Look at this gorgeous view. Wow. That is beautiful, guys. Take a look out this way here. So yeah, the property is owned by a developer. They bought up a whole bunch of land in this part of the in this part of the province, and they are going to demolish. Unfortunately, so that's a bit of a bummer. And we'll take these sketchy stairs here up to the main level. Hopefully, nothing gives way on me. It's windy, guys. You can hear wind blowing. Look at this big old barn. Wow. Beautiful. Got the original pulley system way up there for moving hay around. You got here. That. Take a look out the big door here, down below. You got some bits of uh, roof, tin roof that have been ripped off and winds during windstorms. What a gorgeous view. This now abandoned estate and farm dates back to the late 19th century. The son of the original owner describes it as once being a vibrant and productive farm. He recalled that his father was born inside this house in 1922 and he lived there with his mother and grandmother, his two sisters and two brothers. In 1930, the mother of the family sadly passed away and the farm had to be sold. But it did come back to the family many years later after a devastating barn fire. The second owner of the farm believed that if the barns had been burnt down, then the insurance company would pay for his mortgage. That man was charged with arson. He lost the farm and the original family got it back. After several years, another family had purchased and sold the home, and when they sold it, it started to fall into disrepair. The original owner recalls that when his father lived here, the whole house was brick, with a smaller tower on the west wall at the back of the house. It had started coming away from the house, so the next family to own the home tore the brick off the whole back wing, including the tower, and put up new white siding. This old home was never given heritage status, and the home and surrounding land has since been purchased by a property developer who intends to demolish the home and build new homes and new communities in its place. Its remote location has spared the home from vandalism and graffiti. However, most of the original light fixtures, doorknobs, and hardware have all been removed. Okay guys, here's what I'm thinking. It's late at night, I've been here doing some drone work, some long exposure work, and playing with my new lights and all my toys. I mean, since I'm here, and it's a really big, creepy abandoned house, why don't we go do a night explore? Let's do two in one, guys. One video, two explorers, one during the day, one at night. You never know, guys, something might happen. I'm here alone. Let's go inside and find out. Maybe this house is haunted. Probably not.
Let's go check it out, guys. You're seeing it here from the outside. I'll give you a little more light. There you go. Now I have lights on inside. We're gonna go have to go inside and retrieve my lights. And then we're gonna do a walkthrough in the dark. Okay, guys? So here we go. Here we are, guys. So we're inside, it's dark, it's creepy. Now what we're using here, guys, is my Loom Cube panel mini light. Okay, I know you guys love when I try to sell you guys lights and flashlights. So the link down below for you guys to get hooked up with this Loom Cube panel mini LED. Look at how clean the light is, guys. It's nice and clear. It's not leaving a big bright hot spot right in the middle. So there you go. It's a good light, guys. Abandoned house at night. Hey, dark. Scary. Okay, let's take this light here. Oops. Turn it off. Go put it in the kitchen, guys, so I don't forget it when we leave, okay? Don't let me forget it. Right there. Okay. It's dark in here, guys. I really like this room. I don't know if it's like all the cobwebs and the green paint, but I really like this room a lot. Okay, so we gotta basically work our way up to the top of the tower to get all my lights, all right? Here's the staircase, guys, at nighttime. So far, no bumps in the night, guys. Got these rooms here. weird when I was here like a week ago this was inside here weird somebody's been here moving stuff around guys move this door here so we can get in take a look at this room all the elephants and stuff what is up guys all right we got a couple of little lights in here loom cubes this one battery died on us this one made it turn this off here guys there it is hold there okay there's that got that light put them in my pocket because they're nice and little See guys, these are my loom cubes right here. Here you go. All right, now in here I have a little mini green light. Turn that off. And a little mini red light. Turn that off. But here we are in the tower. Green stairs. Going upstairs to get the rest of my lights. Trying not to bump my head. I bumped my head on here earlier, guys. These lights are lasting a long time. They're hot, though. Press and hold, guys. Press and hold. This one here. Ooh, it's really hot. Ow! Shit, that's hot, guys. Okay. Just gonna put that there for a minute to cool down. We take a look in here. So now it's dark outside, so we can't see out the windows. Scariness up there, maybe. Take a look down the stairs. Okay, guys, grab my lights. Oh, 
these lights are hot. Holy shit. Hot, hot potato, guys. Bump my head. Oh. Okay, guys, so now we're in the house and none of the lights are on. There's a what is up, guys, for you there. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Put my, light, my lights there for a minute, don't forget them. We are going to turn the lights down a little bit, okay? So we can still film, but it'll be darker and scarier. So now we're at 30% brightness, okay guys? Grab my lights here, I don't wanna lose them. So now it's darker, a little bit more scary. Can't quite see, guys. Okay, shh. Nope, not haunted, not haunted, guys. Such a nice staircase, eh? Okay, maybe it'll be haunted here. Shh. Nope. No ghosts, guys. What about this room? Maybe in this room. Ready? Shh. Nope. No ghosts in this room, guys. This is just a closet, guys. There's no ghosts in the closet. Okay guys, this has been fun. I really like this house. Something tells me I'm gonna be back here again someday. This is an awesome house. Great exterior, not bad inside, but really cool outside. I had a lot of fun taking pictures here during the day. Sunrise, I should say during the day. Sunset, evening, twilight, and the dark. Now inside in the house in the dark. Pretty fun guys. So, hope you guys have liked this one. Hit the links down below to get yourself a loom cube. Use the code FREAK15 at checkout to get yourself 15% off your purchase. Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you drop me a comment down below. And what do I always say? Tell me where you live. Tell me what you like about my videos, what you don't like about my videos. What did you like about this video here specifically? And lastly, if you're not subscribed, what's the matter with you? Hit that subscribe button, guys, because I really think you're gonna like what I have to offer on my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.
This video is lit with the all new Loom Cube Panel Mini LED Light. In the box are the light panel, diffuser, USB C charger, and hot shoe mount. This light is about the size of a business card at 3.6 inches wide. It's extremely lightweight, is a huge bonus at 86 grams on its own and only 119 grams with a hot shoe and diffuser. The extremely lightweight makes this LED panel ideal for drone light painting. Simply apply Loom Cube 3M Velcro to the drone and the light and voila. Here's a quick look at some light painting work I did using the Panel Mini and my Mavic Mini. The Panel Mini is a full spectrum LED light featuring 60 premium LEDs. It has an adjustable dial for increasing and decreasing brightness and on the rear is a built-in LCD display showing brightness, color temperature, and estimated runtime. Use the link in the video description to get your very own Loom Cube Panel Mini.